Yo, what's going on guys? This is Mike Reed here. Welcome back to another Beyblade toy review by yours truly. So today, like I just said, we have another Beyblade review for today's toy review. And we're going to be taking a look at a, a, a single release, or starter, right? Um, Destruction Bellfire B7. So you guys might remember the, or Dynamite Bellion, right? Um, you guys may remember back in my Cosmic Vector battle set um review that we reviewed a beyblade of the exact same name and you know motif design style right but this is the starter release right of belial and in this case he's uh, almost completely the same to his original version except with some minor cosmetic changes and of course the drivers are different so yeah, of course so right on the front because you have the Bailey Bruce quad drive logo right there with a nice CG render of the um, Destruction Bellfire um, or Dynamite Belial Beyblade itself. Looking very, very nice in its white color scheme. And of course in the background here we have Stone Nemesis back here getting destroyed by Belial slash Bellfire. So that is really cool to see. And then of course it's to on top it shows what it includes. Of course it includes the Beyblade and the launcher. Of course I don't really show the launchers in these videos except for of course the ones that come in like battle sets or of course like brand new releases right brand new system launchers that sort of th that sort of thing but anyway now on to the back of the box and back in the stand up just a little bit we do have the destruction bellfire b7 logo right there attack type and then of course we do have all the parts listed right there and we do have the four ways to play right four different modes and of course we have the right stats so um yeah and i'm not even gonna bother mentioning what i always say about the stats because you guys should know by now about the stats they are rubbish anyway <clears throat> so <laughs> I, I, I didn't, anyway, <laughs> we're gonna ignore that. So we're gonna move swiftly on to the review here, as trust me, it's gonna be a short one. So of course we're gonna go part by part, and of course we're gonna start off with the DB core slash drive chip, which is of course Bellfire B7 or yeah, right Belial B7, and those look pretty cool. Um, obviously, major differences here are of course the color scheme. Uh, which is, of course, now we have white for this, you know, horn design, right? Red for the eyes, which I don't believe they were red before. No, they were blue. Uh, we do have the uh, purple, bright sort of design here instead of the gold on the original. The gem in the head is now gold. The uh, Most of the design is pretty much unpainted. The horns aren't painted anymore. I would have liked if the horns were gold at least, but no, I guess Hasbro couldn't be bothered because you know how Hasbro is. They are cheapo sometimes. Well, a lot of the time. But we do have the QR code in the back though, so you can scan this particular version of Dynamite Belial or Destruction Bellfire into your Bailey Burst mobile app. And again, for a quick comparison, here it is with the original um, you know, the original anime accurate version slash Kartomi accurate version, if you will, of Destruction Bellfire, or Billy, or Destruction, right, down on my belly hill, right, B7, Drive Chip, DB Core, so. Literally the same thing, just, again, cosmetic changes. So that is pretty cool. Next up is the Blade, which is, of course, Destruction slash Dynamite. So, pretty nice looking. I do like the white on this with the you know, overall white and the gold here a little bit on the wings. Of course, my only problem with it is, again, no detail for the blades here. And uh, just in general, Dynamite isn't really all that good, at least for Hasbro anyway. But for comparison, here's the original uh, Dynamite slash Destruction Blade that we got with the, um, with the Cosmic Vector Battle Set version. So there you have that. So yeah, this one's definitely closer to the to the Takara Tomiya version. I just again my only change is the little white blades here, here, and here. I wish were on this one so that way it could be pretty much you know spot on to the Takara version. But you know what? It is what it is. So there you go. Nice to see that blade come back. So despite the fact that, because I actually like the design of that blade, despite the fact that it's not that good, <laughs> well, all things considered. So, next up, of course, is the armor slash the gravity ring, which is two. Not going to say much about this. Uh, go back and watch my previous reviews of Dynamite Belial and um, 
was it guilty lunar guilty Lo guilty longinus right if you want to see my original thoughts on the two armor but yeah that does make a return here and again for comparison here's with the cosmic vector battle set version again the only major difference i can notice here is that this one's slightly a deeper silver than this one is but that's that's very subtle you can barely tell the difference but they're literally just the exact same darn thing. Next up, of course, is yet another returning disc, which is Nexus. Again, um, go watch my original review of the Cosmic Vector Battle set if you want my initial thoughts on Nexus. But yeah, it is nice to see this disc come back despite the modifications done by Hasbro. So there is that. I also quickly forgot to put the layer together for you guys. Man, I am really, I'm really out of it this afternoon. But yep. Just put the layer together, right? So you guys can see what the full layer looks like. So that is pretty cool. Do you like that? Of course, later we'll do proper comparisons, right? Show off different modes, all that fun stuff that we do here. Actually, real quick, as a matter of fact, for comparison, real fast, here is the Cost Infector Battle Set version of Destruction Bellfire down my belly, so you guys can see that. Again, literally same thing. Just, again, cosmetic differences. Next, we get to the driver plus the armor tip. In this case, the normal tip, believe it or not, this is Revolve Quad Drive. So if you guys remember um, Rising Ragnarok or Raging Rock Devore, yeah, this is his driver. But now it's been heavily modified. It doesn't even look like Revolve anymore. And once again, it looks like a futuristic pencil tip, uh, eraser tip, right? And it's modeled in this uh, almost like a metallic purple color. It does look pretty nice. I do like that, other than it looks nothing like Revolve. So that's a bit of a bummer. Next, we get the armor tip, which is Quake. Quake quad drive more specifically and of course it's just the exact same thing as quake that we saw back i believe on mini boros i want to say way back in 2015 so nice to see a legacy piece come back and this one revolve goes back to dates back to 2016 so again a lot of legacy parts here but uh just modified right for the quad drive system but it's nice to see it in this nice purple so that is pretty cool so once you put your beyblade all together there you have your rather mediocre combination, if you will, of um, Dynamite Belial, right, or Destruction Bellfire B7, Nexus, Quad Drive, Revolve, Quad Drive, plus Quake 2. Yeah, I know these names are getting more and more confusing, but yeah, those look pretty nice, so do like that. Now for some comparisons, but... Before we do that, getting a bit ahead of myself, we gotta do the different modes. So, of course, we have the Core Plus mode, but now we gotta do the Apex Plus mode, so jump cut. Right, so here we have it in the Apex Plus mode. Again, literally the exact same thing as the original um, Cosmic Vector Battle Set version, but yeah, it's, it's alright. Again, very garish gap, but... From the top, it does look pretty cool. Now, of course, we're going to jump into the uh, the Apex and Core modes without the armor tip. So we'll just take the armor tip off for this one. And there you have that, Apex Plus, or Apex mode without the armor tip. Looks pretty darn good. And now we'll quickly go into the Core mode without the armor tip. Now, getting this thing into the Apex mode was quite difficult as the blades are pretty darn tight off uh, right out of the box. So do be aware of that. On some copies of these Hasbro um, quad drive releases, they can be a bit tight to change into the modes, so just be wary of that. But anyways, here you have them in the core mode without the armor tip. And again, looks pretty darn solid. I do like the sort of short nature of this. Of course, the, the, the tip just uh, looks a little weird. But, you know, it's it, what matters is that it works and it functions well. So, there you go. So, now to get back into its normal core plus mode. Oh, oh, I put that all together, yep. Let's do us, there we go, some comparisons. And of course, we're going to start off with the original 
Dynamite Belial slash Destruction Bellfire from the Cosmic Vector Battle Set. As you guys can see, it doesn't look too terribly bad. All in all, pretty darn solid looking designs. So, of course, Dynamite could have been way better for Hasbro, but you guys know how they are by now. They are uh, good, but not exactly good enough. Have to adjust the stand just a little bit. There we go. Sorry for all the noises in the background, because I'm sure you probably just heard the springs and the locking mechanisms of this sort of display stand doing its thing. But there you go. Now for our next comparison. Hold on. Let's bring in, you know what, let's bring in Valkyrie. Let's do all of them, right? All the quad drive releases. So here we have Valkyrie. Salvage Valtriac right next to him. I think the two of them will pretty darn good together. Um, obviously, cosmetic differences are obvious, but I think that, again, they look pretty darn solid. Despite the fact that, in general, Dynamite could have been so much better of a blade. Um, for Hasbro, anyway. I can't really speak for the Takaratomi version, but, oh man, it's not good. For our next comparison, you know what, let's bring in Ragnarok. Right? For a comparison. So here you have them. And again, the two of them don't look too bad together. Um, all in all, solid combinations here uh, for the colors. Next, we will bring in Magma Ifrit. Magma Ifriter, if he'll stand. There we go. So you have those two together right there. So all in all, again, solid designs. It's just, oh god, Magma Ifra could have, as I've stated before, could have been so, so much better. But no, this is this is the Magma Ifra that we ended up with. What a, what a shame. What a shame that thing happened to be as bad as it is. Next, we will bring in... Who did we not bring in? Oh, yeah, Longinus and Fafnir. Let's bring those two in. So we'll do Fafnir first. So here he is. Phil sit right. And there you go. So, again, pretty nice combinations here. Um, kind of interesting. I'm kind of interested to see how Quake is going to perform in the quad drive system. I'm assuming it's going to perform pretty much the same way as Quake did back in the right previous releases, or should I say the quote-unquote nor normal version of Quake. So we'll see how that one does. But anyway, for our next comparison, we're going to bring in Guilty Lunar, Guilty Longinus, for a comparison. So you can see that. And I think I, I think I can see where they got the idea for the color scheme from. I think they got the idea from Longinus. And you know what? I think it works. Honestly, I, I, th I really do think it works. So that is really cool. Uh, the, the, I guess you could say this is the Longinus version of Belial. That's pretty cool. I like it, actually. Now for the Hasbro exclusives. We'll start off with... Uh, you know what? We'll start off with my favorite... Katana Muramasa. Again, this thing is just so darn cool. I love this thing. If it would sit straight. Oh, come on. There we go. So here you have them. Katana Muramasa. I love that design. I don't... And using it in my Cosmic Vector Battle Set Stadium, um, you know, a, a few times as of this video being recorded. I love this thing. It performs pretty darn good in the stadium, actually. My only problem with it is, is that it sometimes bursts a lot to attack types, but other than that, for a stamina type, it could have been a lot worse, honestly. Especially with its oddly aggressive design, despite the fact that it's supposed to be a stamina type, which stamina types aren't supposed to be aggressive. Aggressive designs are supposed to be for attack types, but anyway, for our next comparison, we're going to bring in Wrath Hydra, slash Wrath Cobra. For a comparison. And the two of them look pretty darn good together. I do like the colors between the two of them. Um, so overall, solid designs. Uh, hopefully, Belial here is actually going to be um, good in the stadium. He should be. I mean, Belial's a pretty solid Beyblade release for Hasbro. So we'll see how this one compares. But anyway, well, off camera, of course. For our, next, for our last comparison, let's bring in Vanish Hydra, Vanish Cobra from the two-pack with Muramasa. And all in all, pretty solid design. 
So all things considered. Again, all of them just look really darn good together. So, do like that. And with that, guys, that's going to wrap up this review on the Beyblade Burst Quad Drive Starter Destruction Bellfire B7. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to drop a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and ring that notification bell so that way you guys get notified for all my uploads. And my fans blowing down the box. <laughs> That's always fun. So do let me know in the comments as well what other Beyblades you want to see for review. As uh, my next one I'm thinking about picking up for review definitely has to be the dual pack with uh, Stone Nemesis, which is right there. Um, and of course, um, I've also had my eyes set on Roar Bahamut. That one looks good as well. And, um, or Roar Balkesh, more accurately speaking. And I think the next one I kind of want to get my hands on is definitely the dual pack with uh, Gilded Baldurov. That one looks really darn cool. And it's, it's really, it's also, it's really cool to finally see Hasbro finally do that Beyblade that was pretty darn rare for a while. So thank you guys so much for watching. Larry Squad, and have a good one.